Raising a child with autism is, of course, very challenging. So two moms in Long Island decided to start a group to help parents meet their kids' special needs. Jessica Formoso shows us how far they've come in a little over a year. The last Friday of every month, these women gather at Mather Hospital in Port Jefferson, Long Island. It seems like a woman's club, but it's more than that. They are mothers and have a strong bond that unites them. When he was approaching school, we had him formally diagnosed, and that was the first time that I heard that word autism. Living a similar life, Priscilla Arena. It's been quite the journey um, and struggle. Um, and I didn't get diagnosed until he was six years old. These Long Island moms didn't know each other, but a business meeting brought them together to do big things for their children. I said, oh, my son has this thing you probably never heard of before. And she said, uh, I do because my son has this thing. They clicked right away and realized they weren't alone. In December of 2015, we had uh, Facebook posts that we threw up and 12 moms uh, that first night showed up in my living room. And everyone cried and shook their heads a lot as people went around the room. And we just realized that there's a lot of moms out there feeling the way that we are. And a year and a half later, 1,400 families from all across Long Island are part of Suffolk Asperger's Autism Support and Information, SASE for short. We're really trying to be a, a practical, boots on the ground organization affecting real change for these kids in our community. They offer parents support, a birthday club every month they celebrate a child's birthday. Often they aren't invited to birthday parties and Sassy makes sure they are. They offer a life skill program and a vocational coach program. A vocational coaching program addresses a big deficit that these children face in becoming independent and happy adults. SASE is a nonprofit organization, therefore funding is critical. In June, they are having a fundraiser, the Blue Party, so they can continue with their services and offer more. There are other things on the horizon and agenda that we are also going to be implementing, such as a advocacy fund um, to help fight for the injustices um, that these children um, and parents battle within their school districts. In Port Jefferson, I'm Jessica Formoso, Fox 5 News.